guys have confidence in him when he goes out. Same thing with the Roberto Zuna. Name outside those two guys. It's consistent. Who else? Hey, um, they can put up some big numbers, but they, they're not tight games. I don't care about the other guys. You have to come through in, in big moments with the bats, too. And, and think of how many great walk-off late wins this team has. Not very many. Have they squeaked through a lot of tight games? It's just because of the pitching? And, and think of how many great walk-off late wins this team has. Not very many. Have they squeaked through a lot of tight games? It's just because of the pitching? Or, or, or how many bat? times have they been walked off this year? Okay, not not at home, but how many times have they been walked up? Way more. And the reason why they've been walked up is because pitching sucks. The pitching sucks. They can't they can't throw the ball. You can't close a game. And that's why you lose those close games. I agree with you. It's always oh, ridiculous. Two and nineteen. Two and nineteen in one run games. Two and nineteen. Fabro, you can't knock a team that's blowing out a team by six or seven runs and say you can't win close games. But there's they're hammering teams. Yeah, but that's what's happening. I know okay. it's it's on and that this great offense is is it clutch or do they come through and tight game when it matters? I'm not convinced. They are. I'm sorry, but but that's but you can't say clutch because if you're scoring eight runs in one game, well that's not clutch if it happens early in the game. What's the difference? And you're still scoring eight runs, regardless of what if it's late or there's a great pitching like we saw from Samarja yesterday. Scoring eight runs in the fourth inning is just like scoring eight runs in the eighth inning. It's the same thing. Yeah, so in your face. Convince you two morons are right. I I I think but there is the same thing. No, but there's there's something. And if any place Lawrence goes and there's people out of course, people, especially baseball fans. So listen, it's clutch. It's just all about the numbers. I'm sorry. Uh, if you play at any level of sports, you know there's a difference of batting uh, in a tight game when you're when you're down around. You need a run rather than when everybody's partying and hammering some a joke pitcher. But again, it is tougher in today's game because it's so specialized too late. So you, you ask the question: Is the offense overrated? They scored 470 runs on the season. The Yankees 393. They had 785 hits. That's second in the uh, major leagues of baseball. Second in home runs. First in doubles. We all know the numbers. My point is when when you get when you get hits. This team hits like hell when when they got a pitcher on the ropes that's no good. Yeah, but look at that series. Did you give up? I mean, I, and they don't get the last at bat. And and and, and Steve Delabar or or Aaron Loop goes in to try and save the game, and he gives up three in the ninth, and they lose nine eight. It's got nothing to do with the offense. And uh, okay. they lost all. Yeah, you did. You asked if the offense was overrated. Did you not? I'm sorry. I'm not talking about the pitching. I know the pitching is good. I know the pitching is terrible, and I know the offense puts up a ton of runs. The stats are there. I just I just think. Maybe this Jays offense isn't great. In tight ball game. Remember that series against the Astros? Where they score back twice to win the walk out pass? That's clutch. You know what? Remember that series against Boston where they came back for seven runs? That's clutch, clutch. You know, we're more than halfway through the season. I understand. I'm not looking at it. I'm. I don't think we're at the point of the season or it is crunch time, or we're not there yet, and we'll see later on in the season. I, I am a believer in clutch because it's hey, harder to hit in October than it is in April. What are the, what are the chances? What are the chances? You and I agree, and we don't know. What it is is a nice moment we're having here, right? I just think it's a here, bit. It's here. a bit beast. Hold my hand. I think the offense is a bit beast. Really sweaty. Yeah, it's really sweaty. Yeah, I yeah, it absolutely it is. I mean, you, 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 they got no hit, but they got no hit. They got four hit yesterday. They got four hit by a great on after probably pitcher in the in the, in the major leagues of baseball, or one if not one of them. It was a great performance, and that's going to happen against the team. Yeah, but a couple lines go on their side at six. They don't, you know, they don't they at six. They just get six runs. Right. They just can't stop them. No, but they didn't get any hits for their, in a tight ball game for whatever eight innings when it went into extra. That's, I'm just saying. That yeah, you can't, can't, you can't control. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. If Venus Williams was white, she would make forty million dollars. Serena Williams. Williams, yeah, Serena Williams, sorry. Yeah, it's a fact. It's a fact, right? And it's stupid. And Tiger Woods was so marketable because he wasn't on this race. Yeah. And these things, and these is reality. Yeah, it's not right. It's not right at all. You think if Tiger Woods was fully black, he wouldn't have made as much yep. money? Really? Yeah. I don't necessarily. I think he made all his money because he wasn't white. 
like you did some of it because it was, you know what, I, I don't need that. Whatever, race plays a part in all this. Whether you're Tiger Woods or not, whether you're Serena Williams, the fact that Serena Williams hasn't made the kind of money that she's, that, that, uh, that Maria Sharapova has made, the fact that she is, um, won, how many more titles has she won? A ridiculous amount more, like, like 30. She's been the best player in the world. 25, 30. You can't see how good she is on the court. Yeah, well, but if you're, exactly. if, you're, if you're that much better than, if, listen, and I, I know it's about marketing and I get that part of it, but if you're that much better, if you're that much more dominant in your sport, a, 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 a sport that, it's not a team sport, this is her, yeah, that much more dominant by far than, than the, the person that makes $10 million more than you. Now there's a reason, double. And she's not even American. She's Russian. Well, straight away she's American, but that's what I mean. She's American. No. Okay, what if she looked like... What if she was yeah. dark? Uh, no, what, what if she looked like Gabrielle Union? The girl that's with the Russell, Russell isn't, and Russell won't give it up. He's like, you ain't gonna give it. Well, and it's stupid that Hawaii is not going to get it. You never get it. You never get it. A couple months ago, that story came out the most marketable athlete now in the world is Eugenie Bouchard. And she can't even beat people who are 100th in the world. Same thing with Anna Kornikova. Anna Kornikova did absolutely nothing. That's why I call Jeannie Bouchard Canada Kornikova. Because she will never win. And it's all she is is she is pretty hot. It's not right. No. But the other thing is, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this real quick. I'm going to propose you turn the music off. No, I like it. This is good. It's not rap music. Let me ask Yeah, give me some rap music. Right now. Right now. So let me ask you this quick question. Do you think it's... Yeah, that's better. Rocky. Do you think it's really the point that Maria Sharapova is more attractive than Venus Williams? Or do you think it's a black and... Sorry, Serena Williams. Or do you think it's a black and white issue? I think it's both. I don't think there's any question. It's both. I know which one I would rather. And there's always been whispers, and they were talking about being Maria Sharapova. And they were talking about this on ESPN last night, too. That Serena sees Maria as that standard because she's the, the attractive white girl. And so she's an she she glazer. She sees it. It's a tool. Exactly. She does. It's awesome. she, she cleans her clock every time, and it's not right. Good for her. Wake up, America. Stop paying the white girls. This is definitely not rap music. I, <laughs> I feel like there's like a side of beef we need a box right now. 628. George News coming up next. I'm going to tell you the best spin on pizza you've ever heard.